Hi friends, we're back. Same day as the marshmallow root, hence the same clothes, but I just thought I'd share this recipe with you that I'm doing tonight. It is a simple chicken pasta thing. Let me show my curtains, because um, it's getting quite dark and grotty outside. We've had, like everybody else, we've had snow, wind, rain, icy rain. Snow most of this week. Oh, it's not been as bad as some places. We've had on and off snow, snow flurries, but it's stuck with it being so cold. We've been like down to minus seven. In fact, my friend in, in the next town up from me um, showed his thermometer thing in. It was minus 10 where he was, but he's a bit higher up than I am <coughs> the other day. So yeah, minus seven here and snow. Today it's been mostly raining, but it's been icy rain, it's horrid. It hasn't been enough to melt the snow, the snow's still there. It's ice, it's snow, it's ice now. So yeah, it's, it's bad weather, bad weather, but we're getting there. And it's meant to be really stormy on, we're meant to get bad storms here on Sunday. They're warning us not to go out of the house um, on Sunday. Um, so yeah. How's the weather with you? How are you guys doing? Are you? I'm sure you're, I say minus seven degrees Celsius. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. Um, I'm not, I have no idea what minus seven Celsius is everywhere else in Fahrenheit. We used to use Fahrenheit here, which was um, something I, I we used to use in Fahrenheit, but um, when it gets down to like, Zero and minus, I tend to convert to Celsius and don't know what Fahrenheit is. <laughs> anyway, we're doing a simple, a simple supper. I'm going to make it now and I'm just going to just warm it up in the oven later. So it's Alfredo sauce. Um, what I'm going to do is I've got some chicken fillets here and they're just defrosting now. And I'm going to do that. I'm going to chop the chicken fillets up into cubes and I'm going to put it in the air fry with some bacon and um, later on and then I'm just going to put it in the sauce and the pasta with the sauce and everything else not, I'll cook the pasta separately and then when husband's due to come home I'll just put it all together and warm it through so I'm just going to show you the sauce now um because everybody knows how to put chicken and bacon in an oven on an oven tray or like I'm doing shove it in the air fryer and cook it in that later on so today, today's recipe is literally just about the Alfredo sauce. That's all that's about, really. Only, I've got a confession to make. It's not technically Alfredo sauce, simply because I can't find my Parmesan cheese. I think I must have used it all up. So I'm having to use a very, very mature, very sharp cheddar, which I'm a bit annoyed about. So technically, it's not really Alfredo, is it? It's close. It'll do. It's Alfredo between friends. So I'm gonna, right, I've put this Dutch oven on now. I'll turn the camera around. So I'm gonna pop the butter in. It's about a stick of butter, which I think is about four ounce. So we're just gonna melt that. Oh, yum. And now I'm gonna just turn that down a bit, just to, because when I put my garlic in, I don't want my garlic to burn. Turn that down a little bit. So that's your butter, stick of butter in America, which is about four ounces. I think when I looked it up, I think it was 113 grams. Just over. We don't have sticks of butter in, in England, unfortunately. It would make life easier. Well, I'm saying we don't. I've never found any. We just get like blocks of it. There we go. I think about 250 grams of butter we have, so it's about half a half a block of butter, I think. Roughly. So then I'm gonna pop some just a pinch of salt. A generous amount of pepper. But then I put a generous amount, I'll put more pepper in, that's not enough for me. Let's have two cloves of garlic in there. And then, 
for me to fill out my garlic. I'm going to have to have an extra bit of garlic powder in there. Just for that extra power kick of garlic as I love it. And plus, like you know, with it's cold and flu season, so let's just throw as much garlic in our systems as we as we can. Oh yum. So I've put salt, pepper, garlic, garlic powder as well, Italian herbs, just a sprinkle, a sprinkle of parsley. I'm probably putting about a teaspoon each. Oh, look at that. Two cups of cream, double cream, or whip, heavy whipping cream if you're in America. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh. Can I get that out with my... This cream is just too good to waste, isn't it? Let's get all that out. Oh, honestly. Double cream and garlic. It's that carbonara in it, it's just my favourite. So what I want to do now, really, is swap that out for my whisk. We want that to be really well whisked. Oh, that smells delicious. Amazing. And then we want to bring that up to the boil. Oh, that's beautiful. Can't wait to eat this tonight. A little bit of tagliatelle or spaghetti or whatever we've got. You want that bubbling now? Oh, amazing. Let that bubble up. So it starts thickening. And then we'll be back. Okay, so that's bubbling really well now. So now I'm going to add two tablespoons of cream cheese. Now I normally just buy whichever the store has in, but because they have Philadelphia on offer this week, it worked out cheaper than the store brand. And I do prefer Philadelphia to any other. So I figured while it was on sale, I would get two tubs. I'm going to turn that down a little bit now that it's bubbling and thickening. So we've got that Philadelphia whisked in really well now, that cream cheese. Oh, that's delish. And now we're going to pop two cups of what should be the Parmesan cheese, grated Parmesan cheese in there. But what I'm going to do, when I come to serve it, I will probably just sprinkle some of this over the top like a cheats method isn't it it'll be oh that's thickened up really well that that's oh splashing everywhere that is really really thick now so oh my gosh that's delish i'm just going to taste it actually it smells delicious I might have to put a little bit of um, milk in there just to... Oh, look at that. That's sticking to the spoon, isn't it? Right, now I'm just going to taste this just to make sure it's... Does it need anything? It certainly doesn't need salt. I do think it needs a bit more black pepper though. And I'm just going to add a tiny bit of milk to this because it's a little bit too thick for my, for what I want it for. That's better. You do want a double cream consistency really, which is, oh my days.
absolutely delicious. I think I might just add a little bit more of the dark parsley or I think it's got enough on the Italian herbs. So we'll just let that tiny bit more milk in there just to just to make it a bit thinner. We do still want a thick consistency though, guys. We don't want it to be oops, we don't want it to be watery. Just clean that lid. Just on the floor. So yeah, that is as easy as Alfredo sauce gets, friends. Let's turn you out. There you go. So, mouth to breast now, I don't know why. That is all there is to it if you've never made it before. I have been searching the stock oh my lid is for that up there i've been searching the stores for ready-made alfredo sauce just to have in the pantry as a a put away because i make i make my own bolognese sauce however i'm not against having jars of sauce in the cupboard in the pantry um as well Best of both worlds, isn't it? But I've never been able to find Alfredo sauce. Now, we're meant to be able to get it at Lidl. And it shows online that they have it at Lidl. But every time I've been, they've never had it in stock. And I've never been able to find it anywhere else either in England. I might try Booth's, actually. We have a Booth's, which if you can't get, if you can't get an ingredient anywhere, like Tesco's and Asda and Sainsbury's and Morrison's, you can normally get it at Booth's, so I'll probably try there. Just have a couple in the pantry. But to be fair, when it's that quick and that easy to make, it's not a problem, is it, if you can't get it ready made? And I would still make it myself all the time anyway. But like I say, I like to have some backup. So like, yeah, I'm just going to um, air fry the bacon and the chicken later when it's defrosted. And then... When hubby's due home from work, I will cut the pasta and drain that. And I will add the pasta and the chicken and bacon to that sauce. And we'll eat that for our supper tonight. But really, the, the video today isn't about our supper, to be fair. It's just about how to make Alfredo sauce if you've never made it before. There are different variations. There are different recipes. But this is my go-to because it's quick. It's easy. And it doesn't use too many ingredients. So I hope you try it. And uh, if you haven't already, if you're, not, if you're not already an Alfredo sauce fan, let me know if uh, in the comments if if you try it. So yeah, weather's really bad, friends. So stay safe, stay warm. And um, make yourself a coffee and watch loads of YouTube videos. Preferably mine, but whatever you takes your fancy. So for now, I'll say goodbye. God bless. Take care. And I'll see you again soon. Bye for now, friends.